Guys, what's going on? It's Adrian over here at Engine Technology in Pomona, California, and I'm gonna be showing you guys an intake install. 2017 Lexus GS350, our short ram intake system. The part number is an SP2098. It's available in polished and black. And let's go ahead and start the install right now. All right guys, so we can go ahead and just start by removing these two plastic covers. Uh, the engine cover is just real simple. You're gonna just grab it, lift it, and pull up. There's a couple grommets on the backside. Then with this plastic piece that's right over the air box, what you're gonna do is there's these plastic push clips and you actually can push them down in the center section itself. And there's four of them, right? And you can just carefully lift up. With Lexus, you gotta be careful because they do that, they'll pop up. So whatever's easiest for you, if you don't wanna chase them in your engine compartment, then just, you know, just pull them out slowly. Kind of like what I'm doing. You can go ahead and disconnect the battery. Well, let's go ahead and disconnect the math sensor. Push down, pull out, you can, Loosen the clamp on the throttle body. Right? And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and loosen the clamp on the air box as well. Right? Disconnect the crankcase center. That's right. Or crankcase center. Crankcase line. Right? There we go. You just pull on this little clip or push on it. There you go, so that's loose and that, those are loosened, right? Let's disconnect the upper half of the air box. There's four of these clamps, right? Harness is disconnected. You're gonna lift this up and pull this out. And I'm gonna show you because, oh, never mind. This harness is actually attached to the side of the air box and you can push it in right with a flat head so you can go ahead and do that uh, we got two 10 mil bolts holding in the lower half of the air box right you're gonna lift this air box the lower part right lift it up there's just like this little fitting down on the bottom slide it out now we got a harness line still attached to it turn it around actually take the air filter out Turn this around. There's our harness, math harness. And you're going to back again, like I was saying earlier, pull that and there you go. Oh, we got one more, one more. There we go. So there, there's three clips that attach to the air box and the upper part of it. And there's your math harness. You can just set that aside. Disconnect the harness line there. And someone's calling me. Spam. Pull this line apart. And there you go. Your intake tube is removed from the engine compartment. And there. Now we can go ahead and install our engine intake. All right. So we got the scoop still installed. There is a ground strap here. Go ahead and loosen that up. We're gonna be using this threaded insert that this ground strap's attached to, right? On the back side of the strut tower, 
literally 90 degrees on the other side, you're gonna feel a threaded insert. You are going to reinstall this grounding strap. To this insert and you're going to tighten it and secure it and again make sure the grounding strap is sitting straight up you don't want it at an angle because when we go to install the heat shield we don't want this to interfere or come close or touch or hit the uh, heat shield and make sure this is nice and tight and secure all right guys, so we got the heat shield assembly. Um, I went ahead and uh, installed the provided uh, trim seal to the top of this. There's a hole on the firewall that this tab literally lines right up to when you install it. You drop this into place and the heat shield will fall right into place. There's a cutout notch out for the uh, scoop itself. We have a provided fiber mount and that threaded insert that we removed that uh, grounding strap, you're gonna get this M6 Vibra mount and secure the tab to the, uh, that's on the strut tower. Secure that. And we're also going to get the provided screw, fender washer, and lock nut. Or not, excuse me, not lock nut, just regular M6 nut. And just go ahead and fish it through the back and uh, secure, the, secure the tab. And hopefully not drop it like I just did on the video. So we'll go ahead and restart that over one more time. Let's secure the front of this tab with the provided hex screw. And then on the back side of this, actually it would be the front side, we're going to uh, secure with another fender washer and the M6 nut. And there we have it. We go ahead and tighten this. We're going to secure this Viber mount. So this Viber mount that secures the heat shield is also going to provide our bracket on our intake tube. That's going to be its location as well. All right, guys, we're going to remove the MAP sensor. There's two screws. Go ahead and use a uh, Phillips screwdriver and remove these two screws. And this comes out. Put that to the side. And there's some provided M four button head screws that go on here. And these are stainless and they're pretty cool. Let's go ahead and install the air filter to the intake tube. This is the three and a half inch filter. Tighten this up. Eight millimeter nut driver or 5 16 that'll work, right? Nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten it so it pushes the urethane and actually wants to do the opposite and pull it, push it away. Then let's go ahead and line this hose to the throttle body, right? and the bracket to the uh, fiber mount. And there you go. Push that in there, place. We're going to secure the fiber mount with the provided M6 nut and a fender washer, right? There we go, we're gonna tighten that in a second. Kinda wanna give it its natural position. Go ahead and tighten the clamp on the throttle body. Tighten this one again up too, nice and tight. Nice and tight. You know, kind of want to feel and make sure everything feels like it's in its natural position. Feels pretty good. Might as well get this crankcase line back on here. Pinch that clamp. And there you go. Sits back in its natural position as well. And let's go ahead and tighten Plant, or the M6 nut on that Viber mount. There we go, nice and tight. Verify again, it's always good. Make sure nothing touches. Everything seems nice and good. This trim seal's there for a nice seal on the back end. Everything's good. All right, cool. Depending on how you want to route your harness line, you can hide it, you can have it exposed. There you go, click that back in. And if you disconnected your battery, go ahead and put that back together. Let's reinstall that engine cover. Like again, there's three little grommets that go on here to help locate it. Right, there we go. Let's go ahead and reinstall this. Throw it in there just for fun. This harness, a little 
clip there. And these tabs, remember how we pushed them back in? If you actually push them down, they pop all the way back up and that's how you're able to reinstall these. Right, guys so there you have it this is our part number sp 2098 it's available in a, a black finish and a polished finish for either one um, the cool thing about this part number is it works for both the rc350 and the gs350 so this specific part number the heat shield and the tube work for the rc and the gs350 uh, go ahead and check us out at uh, engine.com social media facebook engine technology and uh yeah there you have it. Till then, we'll see you guys.